Hey, what's going on, everybody? I got a quick one for you today. We're actually over in CapCut, which is a uh, editing, a video editing software. Really handy. There's a free version if you haven't checked it out. Uh, it's CapCut. I'm not sponsored by CapCut or anything like that. This is just the tool that I've been using for the past several months, and I really do like it. Uh, I do have the pro version, which is, I think it's seven bucks a month, or maybe even a little cheaper if you buy the whole year. Uh, so not too bad, but again, there's a free version. Feel free to check it out. I wanted to show you guys something today. Uh, regarding fading in and out audio in CapCut because I was actually doing this what I would say wrong for quite a while so if you guys aren't aware I have another channel um, Prophecy Fulfilled which is a Christian channel where I do a Bible verse every day it's just a short so it's under 60 seconds and there's a Bible verse every day I'll if you're interested I'll link a card to that channel right now uh, feel free to check that out but I wanted to use this as an example because on that channel again every day I upload a short but I do edit those in CapCut, and what I do normally is I'll play a uh, like a church or gospel-related um, track for audio in the background. So I'll have that at you know a lower sound. So as you see up here, I've got this at like negative 20. And let's just see what that sounds like. So that'll probably work for me. And then I have a um, Bible verse that is read aloud. So there'll be you know an introduction. Today's verse of the day is. Isaiah 26 11 or whatever the case may be and we'll read that and then we'll do like a, a follow-up or sending message related to that verse and then the talking stops usually about halfway through and then what I do is I crank up the music a little bit and then I have different um, text or words display up on the screen here so what I was doing before guys try not to laugh it's kind of funny I was actually breaking the track and then I would come over here and have these slightly overlap and then I would turn this up to zero is just like a default. So I would get that to zero. And if you want to do fine tuning, you can come up here and use the mouse. And so I would have that at zero, which is a lot louder than here. And then so it's not like a super subtle jump. I would do a fade here. And then I would like to fade it out too, which, which is okay. It sounds better than just breaking and then have this go from like negative 20 to zero, right? So let's hear what that sounds like. Sorry, let me fast forward a little more. Okay, so here we're going to hear it low and then it's going to increase to high. But if you listen carefully, you're probably going to hear like a jump where that song breaks and it doesn't align. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So see how that, you probably noticed like the piano keystrokes were not aligned with how they should be. And then it'll play at that volume uh, and then it'll fade out over here. So, I mean, it's not terrible, <laughs> but again, this is not the right way to do it. I actually saw a video recently and I was like, oh, what a what a noob I am, right? So let me show you the right way, in my opinion, now that I saw that, the right way to do it. So we'll put this track back. And you can also shrink tracks. So obviously, if I'm doing a short, I don't need a whole, you know, um, two minutes. I'll keep it under a minute. So that's how you accomplish that. And then we can just zoom in to work with it. Uh, hold control and scroll your mouse wheel that'll zoom so I usually keep it around anywhere from 55 to uh, just under 60 seconds all right so let's say and by default guys it's at zero so let's say um, maybe my talking is 30 seconds or so so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the whole track down to negative 20 again you can put it wherever you want but that's just about where I like the volume when I have talking that's over the audio right okay so that'll work and then let's say I want to go to 30 and obviously I would have other tracks here uh, and I can show you an example right after this of a, a short that I recently made. Again, I'll have that channel link for you earlier in the video and I'll put it in the description as well in case you're interested. All right, so here's where the actual magic happens. Very cool feature. So go to where you want to start to modify that volume and then uh, have your slider bar right there and then click on your audio track and then come up here and you're going to be on the volume where it says volume here and since this is only an audio track if this was video you would have like a video and audio tab so make sure you're on the audio portion again if this is music or only audio you'll only have audio options obviously so click on that track and right where it says volume don't change the volume just click this add keynote or keyframe i'm sorry add keyframe so we're going to add a keyframe here and then you see that little diamond right 
now what that is saying is when I start to adjust, that's where it'll start to adjust. So I want it to fade up over the course of, let's say like, I don't know, five seconds or so. So if I come over here, I'll do the same thing. I'll add another keyframe. And then I want it to fade out over here. So I'll come, you could get more precise, obviously, but this is just a demo. So I'll come here and add another one and then I'll zoom in and I want to add another one right towards the end there. All right, and I'll add another keyframe. All right, guys, so now, without having to break the track, all you have to do is grab this and pull it up. And I want it right at about zero. That's close enough for the demo. All right, so that is a very cool way to do this. So this is gonna be low at negative 20, and then right where my uh, keyframe is, it'll start to increase. It'll flatten out at the level we selected, it'll play all the way over here, and then it'll fade out. So let's just see what that sounds like. So as you see, there's no sudden abrupt stop or um, any type of break in the song, the, the piano, everything plays just as it was written, all right? So same thing over here, it'll fade out. And you could do this longer, more gradual, right? You would just move your keyframes over. You can move your keyframe over and that way it's kind of fading out slower over time, fading in slower over time. So however you want, customize it to your needs, so very handy trick um again i wanted to share this because i was doing it wrong for a long time <laughs> and if you don't know right then you're never gonna know and you're gonna be doing some other work around like like my new butt was for quite a while all right so that was a uh quick demo on how to properly fade or adjust volume within an audio track using keyframes and that allows you to do so without breaking your audio track or separating your audio track or splitting your audio track. Pick your term there. All right, so now what I want to do is just show you an example of a recent one that I made. So let me go back to my home page. And here's one I made this morning. Uh, I think it was this guy. Yes. So like I said, this is a, uh, YouTube short that I put together and you'll see this audio track at the bottom here, right? It's a low, 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 and then it kind of fades up and then it fades back out. So let's just take a quick look at, we won't play the whole thing. I just want to show you the very end here. So I have the Bible verse and then um, like a sending message and that music is low enough to where it's not overwhelming the uh, speech. And then the speech ends and we ramp up the volume. So let's just look at that. Over any adversity. faded out here at the end so that's how i'm using this feature now and uh, hopefully this helped you guys like i said if you're interested in a bible verse a day i will share this channel in the description and there was a card earlier in the video and before i let you guys go i just wanted to say uh thank you so much for watching the video if you learned anything here or if this was a value or entertainment please consider hitting the thumbs up button uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm shooting for 10,000 subs this year. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting close to 7,000. It's it's going to be a uh, a grind, but that's what it's all about, right? Keep grinding. Um, yeah, share this video with your friends. If they're into editing, maybe they have CapCut. Maybe they've never heard of it. Maybe they want to learn a new trick. And then last but not least, guys, there is a giveaway on my channel. I will be doing the drawing this Sunday, June 2nd. Uh, 2024. So make sure you get over there, check out that video. I'll have a card for that right now and get yourself entered to win one of my awesome USB drives. You can check them out at bootableusbs.com. All right. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next video, take care guys.